Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Do, and today I'm here with a brand new video for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing Cobra Kai Season 4, Episode 9, titled The Fall. Um, this is the penultimate episode of Season 4. We are almost done recapping the season. Uh, the review of the season finale will come out Wednesday. So yeah, I'm excited to uh, break this down. This was a pretty good episode. Um, I like the tournament, for the most part. Um, a few things I'll bring up later that I didn't like, but I... Um, yeah, I thought I thought it was I, th I think it's well done. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we have our three teams competing: Miyagi-Do, Cobra Kai, and Eagle Fang. Um, and the first up is the Skills Tournament, which was a recent addition made by the board. So um, Cobra Kai easily beats, like easily wins the Skills Tournament. Although Dimitri was pretty good in the was pretty good there. I think he did a good job. Um, so yeah, Cobra Kai is just having more success overall, which I think we kind of all expected that just because of how much they learn, and I'll talk about Robbie's teachings in a second. Um, but yeah, pretty much Cobra Kai wins the skills tournament. So yeah, that's, you know, a win for them. Um, okay, and then we have Carrie Underwood coming in. Oh, geez. You know, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. A lot of people didn't like it. I didn't like it either. Um, I feel like they should have done something else other than country, but whatever, good for them getting her on the show. I don't care, though. Um, okay, so then we kind of get into the opening round, and we see that the Cobra Kai students are using Miyagi-Do techniques taught to them by Robbie. So the cat's out of the bag, Daniel goes to confront Robbie, and Robbie finally says something I've been waiting to hear for so long. He says, Everyone thinks their way is the only way. You, my dad, Cobra Kai, um, turns out, um, it doesn't matter which way you fight as long as it works. So, and he'll do anything he needs to win. So that, he has that speech, and I agree with most of what he says. Um, I mean, actually, pretty much all, all, all of what he says. Like, he's just being smart here. Like, he's playing double side. He's, like, the best manipulator ever, pretty much. Um, and Daniel says, never put passion in front of principal because even if you win, you lose. So, whatever. A line from Daniel. I don't really care because I think Robbie's in the right here. And Daniel needs to realize, Daniel and Johnny both need to realize that their ways aren't the only ways to figure it out. And Cobra Kai. Like, he's open to what whatever. Because he's been a part of so many things, like, he'll do whatever it takes to win. So... Yeah, it, 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 it's interesting. I think Robbie was being pretty smart there. I, I like the conversation with him and Daniel. So yeah, Cobra Kai keeps having more success. Torrid uh, eliminates Devin, who was uh, the girl, uh, Johnny's female star, which means uh, Eagle Fang is eliminated from the tournament. Uh, the girl's side, which means Miguel would have to beat uh, all the guys in order to win. So then we cut over to Hawk. And remember, he's on Miyagi-Do now. And him and Moon kiss. That was exciting. I always kind of thought they were an underrated ship. I think they actually are cute together. So he beats Kyler pretty much without even trying. I mean, I didn't know Kyler was that bad of a fighter. I mean, we know Hawk's good. Um, but yeah, pretty much Hawk beats Kyler in less than a minute. I mean, maybe 13, 15 seconds. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So then we cut over to um, Sam and Piper. Sam beats Piper. Um, we see that she's using Johnny's techniques, which Daniel is upset about, which is understandable, but I'm also like, Robbie literally just told you this earlier that your way isn't the only way, and he needs to learn that. So he needs to accept that Sam is going to use some of Johnny's techniques. Just like um, Miguel is going to use Daniel's techniques. Like... They, they learned them, so why not use them? Um, so even though Sam maybe didn't fight the right way to Daniel's mind, her right way is different than his right way. And I think that's important, and I think Daniel's just being stubborn here. And so is Johnny, but Daniel's particularly... Ugh, I'm not... wasn't vibing with, with him. Pretty much this season at all, I've just been just not vibing with Daniel. Uh, season 3 was better than the first two, but this season, just not a big fan of him. So, and then we cut to Robbie and Kenny, and they have to face each other, um, which I didn't fully understand, but pretty much they're facing each other, even though they're on the same team. First, he takes it easy on Kenny, but then he pretty much brutally uh, destroys him on the mat. So, yeah, now Robbie's moving on. 
So as now we have Robbie, Miguel, and Hawk all going to the guys' finals. So then we get Hawk versus Miguel. Um, so pretty much, um, I thought it was interesting, and it, it was kind of a callback to the season two fight in the woods between them. So yeah, and they haven't really talked for a while. They're not, I mean, I, they're friends, just not, they just haven't really talked. And I hope we see more of that next season. Um, and then I don't, I didn't necessarily know what, where this fight was going to go. It actually takes a dark turn because, um, uh, Miguel tries to do Johnny's tornado kick, but then he lands on the ground in pain and he yells out sensei and that's how the episode ends. So pretty dark ending. I was definitely not expecting that, but it was a good cliffhanger going into the finale. So let's leave off what we have. Miguel's hurt. So that leaves off what's going to happen with this fight with Hawk. Robbie is... Now in the guys' finals, and Sam and Tori are both in the girls' finals. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where we end off. But overall, um, definitely, a, definitely a good episode. Um, I mean, not great, because I think... But everything besides the Carrie Underwood performance, I personally think what, was good. Okay, so I'm going to get off of here, but anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching the studio. I'm going to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll be back Wednesday with my season finale review. So, bye everyone.